Wow, look at that. How cool is that? Here's the perfect example of what side view is. I might have missed this if I was off just a little bit, just slightly off to the side. Look what we just missed. This is probably one of the mistakes I see as new anglers do is they want to get to fishing too soon. Be patient. Get out here and do your homework. Look around, you know, use your electronics because then you're going to have a better feel for the for the fishery when you actually do start fishing. And there's a, a tree. Wow, look at that. How cool is that? Oh, look at the brim beds. Holy cow, look at that. Holy cow, look at this. This is too cool. Okay, guys, here's the perfect example of what side view is. Just to explain this, imagine the back of my boat is right here facing forward about where my finger is or my thumb. We're going forward like that. This is the back of the boat. The black is the water column down below the boat. We're in 13 feet of water. So that's your water column. But what you can see here off to the side, so 10 feet out to 46 feet, this is the bottom. And what you're looking at, the dark spots are shadows. But what this is, this is a perfect example. Here's a tree that you can see plain as day. You can see the, the tree. I believe this is the stump here. And then these are the branches up here. You can see the shadows. The dark spots are shadows cast off of them. We've got some more, more of a brush pile right here. But here's what's really cool is, if you're a fisherman, you know what this is. These are bluegill beds or brim beds. They kind of look like a, the dimples of a golf ball. And this just shows you how precise this is. If you see those white spots inside those dimples, those are fish. So what do we suspect those are? Those are probably bluegill that are in these bluegill beds out here uh, off the side of this grass. So this is really awesome here. So this is definitely a likely spot you'd want to make a few casts. Uh, you know, I like to explain it because a lot of people don't understand it. So imagine what you're seeing is what we've already gone past, okay? So if this thing was uh, scrolling continuously, imagine the back of the boat is right here. Your transducer's here. So your boat's here and you've already gone past this. So you're seeing what's past you. But, you know, and that's what most sonar is, is what's behind you. I can't tell you exactly how far this track is distance-wise. I'm going to guess, uh, you know, if you figure, just using this as an example, if this is you know, 45 feet, you could probably do the math that's 40 feet behind the boat, which makes sense. I mean, that tree's probably 25, 30 feet long. You know, this area of brim beds, you can guess, is probably a 20 foot area there, but uh, it's about 10 feet where we took this picture at. Kind of ignore this shot. This is where we're at now. We've, we've drifted up here on the shore. If you want, go check out my video of where I show you how to take a screenshot of this. It's super, super simple. Click here and uh, go watch the video. I mean, that's what makes this really cool too, is I can go now and I can scroll this over there and I can push this button and save a waypoint right there. So now if I wanted to go fish for bluegill, I could just go right over to this waypoint that I've saved and know that that's where that's at and I'm fishing right on top of the bluegill. It could be a brush pile. Same thing with this log. I could save a waypoint right on that log and know that if I'm throwing right at that waypoint, I'm throwing right at that log. So that's what technology has done there. Not only with your traditional sonar or down view are you able to see what's under the boat, but with side view here, you can see what's off to the sides of the boat where I might have missed this if I was off just a little bit. I might have just thought there was not much on the bottom here, but just slightly off to the side, you know, anywhere from 20 to 40 feet off to the side. Look what we just missed, this big brush pile with all these uh, bluegill beds on it. So amazing technology. So we're starting to come up. Definitely a harder bottom right there. Might be an old road. That, we need to fish. Okay, so here's another great example of uh, uh, side view, why it's so important. So to explain it again, the back of the boat is up here. We've already gone over this. The dark area is your water, essentially your water depth. We were in roughly, uh, I think we were in like 15 foot of water. We've drifted out here a little bit deeper now. This is my current depth. But as you can see, I saved a, a mark right on top of this. So it actually came up. This is a, a point that comes out here uh, and it was on 11 feet of water. So this is a point that sticks out here. If you look over here on my uh, map, I've saved a couple waypoints as we went over this thing. So it's a point there, be a great place to fish. And uh, 
I guarantee you there's some fish holding on that thing, but you can see it, the way it sticks out both sides, it's definitely uh, comes up higher in the water column on this side versus the right side. And those are clearly rocks. They're, these are rocks that are casting shadows. That's why you're seeing the dark. The light is probably the top of this rock, uh, rock hump here. And uh, by being able to save a waypoint right on top of that, I know exactly where it is. I can go right back to it and fish right on top of that, uh, that rock bar there. So there was side view. Hopefully that uh, gives you a better understanding of how to read your electronics and know what you're looking at. Side view is an excellent tool. The fish can't hide. I mean, not only are you able to look down with traditional sonar and, and uh, clear view, but side view shows you how, or you can see the things off to the sides. And uh, you know, it's clearly gonna make you more efficient out there on the water. It's gonna help you find the structure and the fish that much faster. And it's gonna make you uh, have better days on the water catching fish. So if you like that one, be sure to click and uh, check out our other uh, uh, videos about electronics and uh, they should help you as well.